finding the nth term of an arithmetic or linear sequence. The nth term is the general rule for the sequence or the formula for the sequence. Once you have that nth term or general rule, you can find any term inside that sequence. You can find the 10th term, the 20th term, the 100th term, etc. Arithmetic or linear basically mean the same thing. It means the sequence has the same difference. So, or the first difference is the same each time. The first difference is constant. A quadratic sequence, however, is when the second difference is constant. Find the nth term of the sequence 8, 10, 12, 14. Well, the first thing we have to do is investigate and see, is it an arithmetic or linear sequence? Because if it is, then we can use the zero term formula. So... To get from 8 to 10, we add 2. To get from 10 to 12, we add 2. And to get from 12 to 14, we add 2. Now, since this first difference is constant or the same, we know that it's the an arithmetic sequence or a linear sequence. So there's two steps involved in finding the nth term. We've just done the first one. So the first step is to find that common difference, which in this case is a 2. And then all we have to do is stick on an n. So that's step 1. Step 1 is find the difference between each term. In this case it's a 2. And then we stick on an n. And then the only other step we have to do is to find what's known as the 0 term. So since our first term is 8, and we're going up in 2s, we need to go back by 2 to find what would be the 0 term, or term 0. So we go back by 2, and we end up at 6. So this is what we would call term 0, the term that's before the first term. And then since it's a positive 6, we stick on plus 6. And that's it. That is the nth term to this arithmetic sequence. So now we have the sequence minus 3, 0, 3, 6 and 9. Again, we want to find the, the nth term. First thing we have to do is investigate, is it an arithmetic or linear sequence? And if it is, then we can use our zero term formula. So to get from minus 3... To 0, we are adding 3. To get from 0 to 3, we're adding 3. To get from 3 to 6, we're adding 3. And to get from 6 to 9, we are also adding 3. So this sequence must be arithmetic or linear because it has a first common difference or a first constant difference. The difference is the same each time. So we can start off our nth term. And the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is always the common difference, which in this case is a 3, with an n stuck on. That's the first step. Now we have to go and find the 0 term. So, since minus 3 is technically the first term, and we are going up by 3 each time, now we have to go back by 3 to figure out what term 0 would be, the 0 term. And minus 3, minus 3 is going to be minus 6. So minus 6 is going to be term 0, the term before the first term. And we just stick on a minus 6, and there's our answer. So the nth term of this arithmetic sequence is 3n minus 6. Now we have the sequence 10, 6, 2 minus 2 dot 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 again first thing investigate is it an arithmetic sequence so to go from 10 to 6 we're minusing 4 from 6 to 2 we're minusing 4 from 2 to minus 2 we're minusing 4 so it is indeed an arithmetic or a linear sequence because the first difference is constant or the same now to find the nth term 
step one, as always, is to find that common difference, which in this case is a minus four, and stick on an N. That's our first step. Now we have to go backwards and find the zero term. So if 10 is term one or the first term, and we're minusing four each time, we now have to go back by four, but in this case we're actually adding on four because we're minusing four each time. So now we have to add on four to take a step back. And if we add on four, we end up at 14. So 14 is term zero. And since it's positive 14, we stick on plus 14. So the nth term of our sequence 10, 6, 2, minus 2 is minus 4n plus 14. Okay, now we want to find the nth term of the sequence minus 15, minus 20, minus 25, and minus 30. And again, just like before, we find the difference between each term to try and investigate is it an arithmetic or a linear sequence, and only if it is can we use the zero term method. So to go from minus 15 to minus 20, we're minusing 5. To go from minus 20 to minus 25, we're minusing 5. And to go from minus 25 to minus 30, we are also minusing 5. So it is definitely an nth um, a arithmetic sequence. So to find the nth term, we write down the first difference, which is minus 5, and we stick on an n. Now we have to have a look at the first term and take a step back and find what would be the zero term, term zero, the first term that's before the first term. So since we're going minus five each time, we need to add on five to get to the zero term. And minus 15 plus five would be minus 10. So that would be term zero. And we stick on minus 10 to our nth term. And that's our answer. So the nth term of the sequence minus 15 minus 20 minus 25 minus 30 is minus 5n minus 10.